What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today is going to be a bit of a shorter one. I'm just going to go over what my approach would be to advising a beginner walking into the gym for the first time. So maybe you're thinking of joining the gym, you've never been in a gym before, but you're thinking of biting the bullet and you're a bit nervous about going in on your first day. So this is the approach I'd advise you to follow. Your first step, uh, without following this one, all the rest of it will pretty much go to shit. Going to the gym at peak time on your first day, ever stepping foot in the gym is just a recipe for absolute disaster. Sometimes at peak time in certain gyms, it can be like walking into a fucking nightclub just stone cold sober and you have no idea what you should be doing. Every machine is busy and you're just standing there. Definitely try and go at a quiet time. If peak time is the only stage that you can make it during the week, because maybe you have work commitments outside of that, then I'd suggest your first day maybe go in on a Sunday morning, they're usually quiet. During the week, if you have the flexibility for it and maybe you walk at home, the quietest part of the day in most gyms is going to be between about 8 and 10 a.m. in the morning. Most gyms at this stage are just dead. Most people are out bringing the kids to school or they've already started work. Very few people in the gym between them hours. Do, as I said before, try and avoid them evenings like the plague. And another quiet time, maybe not as quiet as that um, 8 to 10 a.m. time slot I mentioned before in the morning time. But the afternoon, after around lunch time, so I'm talking between maybe half one and half three. Generally in the gym, I train in, it's very quiet at that time. Step two now, and this is when you're going to actually step foot in the gym for the first time. And... It's a bit of an optional step to be honest with you. But if I could, I'd try and ask the receptionist or the gym staff for a quick tour of the gym. Just show me where everything is, change rooms, toilets, all that type of stuff. Explain to them that's your first time in the gym. Anyone who walks in the gym is generally going to be happy to accommodate any new beginners. Pretty much everyone who goes to the gym is always happy to see new people getting into the gym and embracing that sort of a healthy lifestyle. Even if it means the gym's going to be a little bit busier for us. Step 3, after you've gotten a tour, I'd suggest setting yourself up on a cardio machine. This is always going to be the easiest place to start. All you have to know is how to press the button to turn the machine on and then bang, you're in business. Very hard to look out of place on a cardio machine. Whether it be the treadmill, bike, stairmaster, cross trainer, anything that's easy for you to use. The best thing about starting off with cardio is that it gets you comfortable actually being in the gym environment. And the side benefit of most cardio machines, a lot of cardio areas in gyms are usually all overlooking the weight section or the machine section and if you want you can even spend your whole first day on this cardio machine think of it kind of like a scouting mission you're just having a look out into the gym having a look at people potentially using machines or doing certain exercises you can pick stuff up just by people watching and then maybe if you see any exercises that look easy enough and you think you'd be well able for it you can go over and give them a try then after step four is to try out a few machines in terms of weight training which it suggests everybody gets into whether your goal is to lose 100 pounds lose 20 pounds or obviously gain muscle weight training is the way forward and machines in terms of weight training are a great way to start they don't require a lot of mobility most of them anyway and they also don't require a lot of balance and coordination to do them you don't really have to learn the form or anything it's just moving the way from a to b on a lot of them and that will get you through 90 percent pretty much every machine in most gyms they're gonna have a little diagram outlining the correct way to do the exercise and then the muscles that the exercise is also going to target in your body and the last thing i want you to do and this is after you go home look up online youtube instagram google whatever find yourself a workout plan that's based on your goals and now you can start sticking to that routine and trying some of the exercises out on it the next time that you go to the gym then because after your first day when you're leaving the gym if you followed all the previous steps you're gonna have a decent understanding of all the equipment in the gym you're gonna know the layout where the free weights area is where the dumbbells are where the barbells are where the squat racks are where the machines are obviously where the cardio section is and the whole idea when you're starting out in the gym is this idea of progression you're just looking to get that little bit marginally better each time you go whether that be getting stronger or doing more volume, or just getting better at the form, or even when you start out in the gym, progression could mean just getting more confident in the gym. Understand, you're not going to be great straight away. I was going to type there, you're not going to be perfect straight away. You're never going to be perfect. Nobody who goes to the gym is perfect. And really, it's just all about repetition. The more you're going to the gym, the more you're picking up them little tips and tricks that you can use. You're staying consistent over time, and that's when you start to see the results. And that wraps it off there for today. As I said, bit of a shorter video, more geared towards complete beginners i think this is pretty much the best approach you can take when you're going into the gym for the first time especially that cardio tip go on a cardio machine scout out the area and you get a good feel for the gym and get more comfortable in the environment if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up see you all in the next one cheers